When our hundreds of people with disabilities and learning difficulties staged a protest at West Sussex County Council today, they're angry that the council wants to stop funding services for people with moderate needs. The protest comes as the council's own consultation document reveals that three quarters of people are against the changes. Daniel Glavin was there. They came from all over West Sussex to get their voices heard. They're scared that places at day centres or even their carers will go. Around 4,500 people with moderate learning disabilities or physical and sensory impairments face having their help taken away. We think that it's disgusting that they're cutting, um, cutting back the services. People with special needs need to do something in this world. Uh, uh, like if they close everything down for special needs, what are the special needs lot going to do? A council consultation found that 76% of people are against the changes. Over 6,500 people signed this petition as well. Some took their chance to quiz Peter Catchpole, the man who's working on the plan. What's going to happen to my son, for instance? I, I think we will see that they will still have a, a full range of opportunities. Were you convinced by what you heard? No. So what do you think? I'm very worried. I'm very, very worried for my son and for others like him. But Peter Catchpole says they have to make savings. There will be mechanisms for them to be reassessed and others, other arrangements which will signpost them to other services. So I think that uh, they will be looked after. There won't be anyone abandoned here. A lot of the people who were here this morning say they felt like an easy target for the cuts, but they're making it clear that's not the case. They're planning a judicial review as they think it's unlawful for the county council to withdraw support. Today, the Select Committee has asked the council to delay making a decision until further research is done. The protesters want them to go further. They want them to scrap the changes altogether. Daniel Glavin, BBC South Today in Chichester.